and as you can see here right away once we put in the correct autonomous system number here we had a EIGRP adjacency neighbor change here so now if I do a show IP protocols VRF no wrong show IP EIGRP VRF customer to neighbors command you can see here now that we are seeing router 1 as a neighbor so now if I do a show IP route VRF customer 2 you can see that I am learning the EIGRP route from router 1's loopback 2 interface let's go ahead and see if we can ping that we'll do a ping VRF 2.2.2. I'm sorry ping VRF and then we gotta put in the VRF name which is customer 2 followed up with the IP address of 2.2.2.2 actually that's the wrong IP their correct IP is 2.2.2.1 and there you have it so that's it that's our implementation of VRF Lite we went over how to configure VRF Lite with static routing and both dynamic routing we used EIGRP as a dynamic routing protocol we went over some of the characteristics of VRF Lite we went over configuring it from start to finish. We also went over some debug commands and show commands that allowed us to verify that we have successfully implemented VRF Lite. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll hope you'll be with me with the next one. Thanks.